Smurfing has always been an issue in video games. Let's say you're fairly new to Counter-Strike, you hop in your first competitive match, your entire team is pretty much garbage, but there's one dude on the enemy team that is just fragging on kids, he's like 30-0, and 0. your team has a collective 4 kills, the score is 14-1 and 1 and you only won that one round because you lost connection for a few seconds, the game ends, and next thing you know, you're still stuck in Silver 1 because that one dude who happened to be in Legendary Eagle Master was playing with silvers for some reason. But I hope you enjoyed that little mental visual representation of smurfing, but seriously, if you don't know what smurfing is, it's typically when a higher level player or a player with a lot of experience plays on a different account that's lower rated, so that way he can kind of just destroy everyone else in the lobby that he's playing with. So people smurf for all sorts of different reasons, you know, whether it be to play with friends or just, you know, if they want an easier game just to feel better about themselves or if they just want to get another level to high ranks. So smurfing isn't always like a criminal act, you know, depending on your intentions, but you will rarely find professional players or really well-known streamers who do it for the wrong reasons. Siegel was streaming Overwatch after not playing it for a few weeks when a viewer suggested that he hop on a Smurf account to get used to the game again, and Siegel, you know, who's typically a pretty chill guy, he blew up on him. Siegel, you should really use a new account to get back into the flow. That's insulting, go fuck yourself. You think I should just Smurf on a new account? And ruin probably dozens of games for people. No thanks. It's not only insulting to Siegel for someone to suggest him playing at lower ranks, but it's also just insulting for those that he would be playing against in those lower ranks. Because like he says, he would be ruining a bunch of other people's experiences if he did. But then a viewer suggested that he'd be ruining a bunch of games for the Grandmaster players that he's playing with, and that set him off even more. Instead, he's going to ruin dozens of games for GM gamers. Hey, question. All right, all right. To all the fucking toxic morons in chat. All right, let's let's sit down and let's talk about this. Guys, do you or do you not think within three games, I would be back to like 70% getting used to shit? Bro, you saying I need dozens of games to get good is less than I had in all of Overwatch League. Ever think about that? And in Siegel's case, as someone who has played in the Overwatch League and has thousands of hours in that game, it's not going to take him long to adjust back to it. You know, it's like it's like going on vacation for a few weeks. You know, you're not just going to forget how to drive your car in a few weeks or forget how to how to make a really good BLT sandwich or something. You know, it might take some adjustment, but you'll get it down again. But there's plenty of tactics that developers use to prevent smurfing or at least just to make it harder. Like League of Legends makes you get to level 31st which obviously hasn't stopped anyone. I remember CSGO used to have this weird mechanic where if you are on a new account and you like win two competitive games in a row, it blocks you from playing another one for a period of time. And then there's other games that use like two-step verification like Overwatch, so you would have to have like several different phones to have different accounts. But either way, you know, it's almost impossible to stop smurfing and it's both an issue and a non-issue that we'll probably be seeing for a long time. I won't lie, all right? I I've done it on CSGO before, you know, using my brother's account, and, and then I used to do it with League just so I could play with my friends, all right? But but I'm over those days. I I'm a changed man. I don't, I don't do it anymore, all right? But what are you guys' thoughts on smurfing? You know, do you hate it? Do you do it yourself? Let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye!